So they're ripping up the foundation of the porch because it started to sink. They're going to rebuild it with a better foundation. But underneath the foundation of the, or the footing or whatever, they found this old bottle. It doesn't look particularly old. Well, I mean, it's not from the 1800s. It looks like maybe 1910s, 1920s. So that's interesting. It's already a nice good find. And then yesterday I found this watch, which unfortunately broke apart in my hands. The spacking was all on there, and that gear was there. It's obviously quite, quite fragile. I don't see any markings on it, though. We can metal detect the spot that I found it, and see if there's anything else there. But this was just sitting on the top of the ground because it had been turned up or uh, dug up. So that's interesting. Last time I metal detected from that walkway over to about here. So today we're going to be doing this part and over, over to here. Over there is the entrance to the pub where I think for like a hundred years now drunk people have left that door at late at night when it's dark so they might have dropped some very interesting things. Who knows, maybe some silver dollars. It's part of a barrel? Weird. Part of a planter, maybe. So I saw the coppery collar and I was thinking it was a, a penny from like the 1870s or something like that, but it's just a newer quarter that's had a weird tarnish to it. And unfortunately it's not a really old one, so it's not silver or anything. I believe before 1965, like 1964 and earlier, they're actually made of silver, so it's kind of interesting. But hey, I mean it's still 25 cents. Uh, it's just aluminum foil. Make my thing go nuts. Can't win them all. It's a 1991 quarter. So, not collectible, but just money. But hey, I mean, 25 cents, that actually is kind of worth something. If I, whenever I find pennies, those aren't, aren't really worth something, but if I find enough quarters, then I can actually buy something with this, maybe like a pack of gum or something. Who knows? So, even, even though they're not old, I'm still happy to find a quarter. Look at this little thing I found. Probably like a, something like the, the building or something like that. Looks like it's made of brass, although I could be wrong. Interesting. I'm finding a lot of stuff in this one hole. I found a quarter and like four pieces of uh, pottery and glass. Although this quarter is just money. It's from 2004, so it's it's not old at all. But hey, if I keep finding enough quarters, I might be able to buy some lunch. Ah, oh, finally, something old. A wheat penny. It is from... Nineteen forty-one. I feel good about this now. I feel really good about this. I haven't even touched it yet. I just saw it right there. Looks like a quarter. Nineteen fifty-three. Silver. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is the first uh, silver qu quarter I've ever found. Or even owned. I mean, I'm pretty sure the old ones had silver in them. Wow, 1953, that's so cool. We're starting to get into a good spot here. So I guess, in a way, I did find silver. That is so cool. Mm. So I'm done with this section over here. But I think speeding up, because it's just so much junk in that area, I'm going to... I'm too high of a setting. I think they're, uh, the, some of the electrical tools and stuff they're using kind of messes that up. So, I think a lot of the area over here, I'm not getting much. So I'm thinking this might not have been all that old. 
like this might have been added and opened up later on like it could have been originally you went in from like the inside that way because I just I'm just finding newer junk here and the same over here but over here I'm starting to get some older stuff so yeah I might kind of spend more time over here yet another weed penny only two feet away from the other hole I believe that is a 1918 wheat penny. So fucking awesome. Just found a 1958 dime by the sidewalk. So that's cool. I'm gonna count anything before 1960 to be vintage and worthwhile keeping. Oh, there it is, right there. It's a wheat penny. Oh no, it's a Canadian penny. Look at that, cool. 1946 Canadian penny, even better. I'll have to clean that up later. I have a good number of those, but oh well. I just found an old marble. Well, not a really old marble, like maybe 1970s or 1980s. I especially love the really old ones, like the 1920s or whatever, that have um, the opaque coloring and whatnot. But still, this is still pretty cool. I found it in a hole where I thought I was going to find something, but it ended up having nothing in it. But I found this, so I guess it did have something in it. Just not whatever the thing was detecting. It's funny, I'm finding that these new pennies, like from the last couple of years, look older than the ones from before World War II. That's, um, I mean, pennies are pretty much useless. And now they're not even lasting very long, so why even make them? Makes no sense. That is an Indian head penny. 1901. See, I mean, like, this penny looks newer than the one that's probably like four years old. And this one's like 117 years old. So cool. I'm really happy with this spot. We're finally getting into, into a good area. Look at this. Looks almost like, well, it's probably just something they put onto a key. Like, it could be from this building, actually. Like, two seven, room 278. But... It also, it also could be one of those things, kind of like what they had at the coal mines, where it'd be an employee number, and so you take that off the thing to, so they could keep track of who was in the mine or whatever. I'm not sure though. Kind of interesting. It'd be really cool if it was. I got all that done. I found nothing of value, well, besides money, in those areas. So it turns out that this was added, this entrance was added like in the 1960s or so, so we're not going to find anything good in this area. And I believe all that area is just going to be bad also, because that's just, that would just be near the back of the building, so it would just be like stuff from the actual building, not from the customers, like coins and watches and whatnot. All the interesting things that I found were from here, that way, and that way. So there may have been like a garden where people could go in this area, but not in that area right there. So we have all this done up to here. The last part to do is to meet them all together. Last time I believe I did up to here. And so then we just have to do this section all the way back. Ah, just a regular penny. Darn it. a copper chain thing maybe for turning on a light switch or yeah one of the pole, pole switches kind of interesting so that is that I have now have all of that done up to here and the next time we can maybe do that section over there like from here to that path or we can continue from the other side I'm not sure I'm gonna do that side though because that is not only in front of the red rooster but also 
at the town square so that's going to have a lot of stuff in it so here's the six coins from before the 1960s that i found 1941 1918 1946 1953 1958 and 1901 nothing from 1800s today but i've already found a good number of things from the 1800s so that's good enough for me I'm very happy to find this penny this penny and especially this penny so i believe that also adds to my collection man i've already found three pennies added to my collection and i actually believe i have like 20 of these 1946 canada cents so i'm not sure why but i guess canada printed a lot of these in 1946. and then here are all the odd things we have the marble little pull string thing a good number of quarters and coins which i can spend so we have 75 a dollar and ten cents. I actually might be able to buy something with that. Not very much, like barely a stick of gum, or a pack of gum, but oh well. Also this little odd thing. I guess it's like a button, I'm not sure. It has wording on it. And this capacitor. Tracon. 16 volts. 47 micro, uh, 470 microfarads. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm very happy with what I found. I'm especially happy with that quarter. I've never found, I've never had one of those before. They're always so expensive, like, well, not really expensive, but far more than I'd want to pay for a quarter. You know what I mean? Like, sometimes they're like 10 bucks or something like that. Although I haven't looked at them in a long time. They could be coming down in price quite a lot. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you tune in next time for the next metal detecting, treasure hunting fun. See ya.